What up, world? If you've been paying attention and shit, you can tell. I ain't been seeing eye to eye with my family and shit. But no, nonetheless, nonetheless, that is my family. I love my family to death. I should never disrespect my sister. I should never brought that shit on Facebook, none of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? But, like, I'm apologizing to you, my sister, Michelle. I apologize. I love you to death. I don't want no problems with you. But niggas need to know their place, too. Don't say nothing to me when I'm talking to my family. I don't know you. I ain't grew up with you. I don't look at you like how she look at you. I don't. It is what it is. I don't, I don't really care like where it go with y'all. You feel me? Because motherfuckers ain't been nothing. That was a place where I go lay my head at and get, and get peace, find peace in my grandmama house. Go to the store for it, run errands for them. You feel what I'm saying? Now motherfuckers done slid the day all the way in. Now, now that's who running errands for it. Now that's who going to the store for and shit like that. Which I have no problem with, because shit, if that's what they all want to do, run errands, do that shit. I was tired of doing it anyway, but... You know what I'm saying? On the strength that's my granny and on the strength that I wouldn't even be here if it weren't for her shit. I continue to do it and I would still do it to this day. I have no problem with it. But I do have a household to run myself. I do got to make sure that my kids don't be sick and shit like that and all that shit. You feel me? They got clothes on their back and shit. So I can't devote all my time to my grandmother right now. Four, five years ago, it was different. I can devote my time to her. But right now, I can't devote that time that she needs, that they're giving her. They are giving her that time that she needs. I can't do nothing but respect that. I can't do nothing but respect that. I respect that. Don't step up. You want to, you know, do that, do that. You feel me? But... Just don't act like it been like this since day one. You feel what I'm saying? Just just no motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, who been there. You feel what I'm saying? Who was there before the fame? You feel me? Motherfuckers famous and shit now, so it's like everybody coming from out the woodworks wanna come see and check on her, this, that, and the other. You ain't you weren't checking on her when she was just scooting around on that walker. You feel me? Now she bedridden and motherfuckers know she got cancer so she can't, you know, do the shit that she used to doing, which is getting up, washing dishes, washing clothes, and you're cooking. She loved to do that. She loved to be of a service to others. That's what she loved. So for someone else to be a service to her, that's God's gift. That's God's gift. I ain't fucked up about y'all being being servants to her. Because that's that's a gift from God. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't no way in hell me and my sister was going to be able to do it by herself. You feel me? But I feel like I'm more of a burden than a help at this time so i ain't you know motherfuckers probably ain't gonna see me for a minute you feel me it is what it is though but i still love my mom i mean my grandma i still love my sister you know her husband he cool he cool i ain't got no problem with dude i ain't got no problem with you bro 
The only reason I'm apologizing publicly because I said the bullshit publicly. I ain't got no problem with that. You feel me? Even the other nigga. He was just trying to be a loyal servant. You feel what I'm saying? Motherfuckers trying to be a loyal servant. You feel me? I understand that once you become a stone shit, you get motherfuckers around you that want to ride your dick and prove that they got your in, your best interests at heart. You feel what I'm saying? When the whole um, went for real, for real, it was, you know, yeah, I know what it is, man. I ain't got to explain that. You feel what I'm saying? But I love you, sis. I know we ain't never been close, but yeah, I still love you. And you don't know me shit. You don't know me a damn thing. I appreciate what you and your husband been did for me and what y'all doing right now by taking care of my grandmother. But. Me, me personally, I really, I really don't mind like falling back because it was never no point in time that we was close. You feel what I'm saying? It's like you can't lose nothing you never had. You feel what I'm saying? You can't lose nothing you never had. You know what I'm saying? But respect and loyalty. That shit, that shit supposed to mean something. And by me being the youngest brother, I should have respected your mind. You feel what I'm saying? You my elder, so I should have gave you that respect. I should have gave you that. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I feel like it was some shit said that can't nobody really say sorry for that shit. That shit, you know what I'm saying? That's, it, it is what it is, shit. I apologize that the situation happened. But sometimes situations need to happen for some shit to come to the light. You feel what I'm saying? But you a beautiful woman and, and, and the stuff that you doing for my grandmama right now, I think it's a beautiful thing. I think it's a beautiful thing the way you and your husband and the rest of his family has took it upon themselves to just take care of my father. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a beautiful thing. But I just know she got real family that'll do the same thing. But in a two-bedroom flat, I mean, there ain't really no comfortability with 10 motherfuckers in here. But I still apologize to you, your husband, my niece, my nephews, because I brought some shit to the public that shouldn't have never been brought to the public. You don't owe me shit. So I don't know what the fuck I'm hooping and hollering for. You feel what I'm saying? But sometimes niggas act out. Like I act out. Like I ain't gonna cap. Like I be doing shit. I'll be every it's an action, it's a reaction to every action. So I be like, shit, fuck it, I'll get on your level then, you feel me? But I think I, I think I started it. I think I started it. And you just reacted. You feel what I'm saying? So I sincerely apologize to you for calling you out your name. To your husband. To y'all children. I apologize for uh, anything I said that was offensive. <laughs> but like I said, I'm standing on everything else. Like, motherfuckers shouldn't get in between family business. That's just a fact, bro. 
It's a fact. I ain't, I ain't part of my family. I don't, you know, you, she can accept you. They, they can accept you. I ain't, I ain't gonna. I don't know you. Just fuck you to me. I don't care. I, I don't know you. But yeah, what you doing right now is making my grandmother happy. Man, I applaud that shit. Keep it, keep it up, bro. Keep it up. Do it. To the fullest, my nigga, do it. If that shit make my grandmama happy, happy to have y'all around and all that shit, man, that shit is a beautiful thing. Cause I remember at one point in time where yeah, nobody come around. You feel me? But love, peace, and prosperity to all. And especially my sister and her family. You feel me? So I love.